Okay, next question. Apart from protein, oh, this is a good question. Okay, apart from protein, how do the rest of the macros play a role in bodybuilding? Say if we fill in the rest of the calorie requirement with empty calories like sugar and alcohol, how does it affect muscle growth, hormonal changes, if micros are taken care of by multivitamins? Um, so I, I think what this question is basically asking is, can we just hit our protein intake, hit our, our calorie, in, calorie intake, and then fill in the rest with whatever kind of junk we want? And I think that with these types of questions in particular, it's really important to consider context. So who is it that's asking this question? Because that's gonna kind of change my answer. Um, so if you have someone who's just wanting to build a bit of muscle, maybe lose a bit of fat, improve their health, I would tell them to focus on what I would consider to be the three pillars of those things. So that would be sufficient protein intake. You wanna be having probably at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, uh, but one gram per pound is a good, easy to remember target. Uh, you wanna be in a caloric deficit if your goal is fat loss, and you wanna be training with weights. What you don't wanna do is when you have someone who's relatively new to this stuff, is you, you don't wanna overwhelm them with a bunch of what I would consider to be minutia or little, little details that's gonna get them distracted from what's really driving positive body composition change and it's gonna get them toward their goal. Um, so you hear oftentimes people will be worrying about their sodium, their calcium, magnesium, uh, organic versus conventional and, and all kinds of stuff that in the big picture isn't what's really driving their progress forward. Um, so for someone like that, I would advise them to focus on those big three things get some weight loss and build some muscle. And then that in and of itself is gonna you know, obviously improve their physique, but also improve many measures of health as well. And then once you get to a certain point, okay, you know, now we can start looking at your diet a little bit more closely. Um, so on a general scale, that, that would kind of be my answer there. Uh, but I think that what you guys really wanna know is on the advanced level, assuming you know, you're hitting your macros, uh, you're hitting your protein, how much does it matter like if I eat you know, just cereal and pop tarts and so on can i still get shredded doing that or is that even healthy or what have you so here are my thoughts on this um in 2015 i think i interviewed who i would consider to be the best natural bodybuilding coach in the world cliff wilson i feel like at this point he just has the best track record in the sport and i asked him this exact question i said do you really think that when it comes to getting truly shredded and i mean like below six percent body fat does it really just come down to hitting the macros and continuing to, to lose fat over time? Or does it do the food choices matter to some degree? And his answer surprised me a little bit because he said that, honestly, Jeff, it, it really just comes down to the macros. If, if they can hit their macros, I've had guys get to four or 5% body fat eating cereal the whole way down. And so I, I kind of do trust his judgment on that. What I would say to kind of build on that would be that it really does depend on the individual in some sense, because we know from all sorts of metabolic ward studies that some people seem to do much better in terms of fat loss when they're eating lower carb, higher fat, so say more of like a keto style diet, and then some people seem to do way better if they have higher carbs and lower fats. And then some people it doesn't really seem to matter as long as they hit their protein and their calories, they're, they're, they're gonna lose fat either way. So that's something that you kind of need to play with yourself when it comes to your, your macro ratios and see what your body responds to uh, better. Now, when it comes to the micros, I would say that they're less important for fat loss, much less important. But I would also say that the body is very complex and you have all sorts of different things affecting all sorts of other different things. And then that can have effects on the physiological scale in terms of how you look. So what really comes to mind is micronutrient deficiencies. So if you're eating all of this micronutrient devoid junk food just to hit your macros, uh, it, it's really very possible, especially if you're training really hard, that you could be deficient in micronutrients, calcium, magnesium, zinc uh, immediately come to mind and possibly fiber, which can all have impacts on digestion in the case of fiber and energy levels in the case of calcium. Vitamin D, I would also include in there if you live in a, let's say a more northern climate especially. And then for zinc and magnesium can downregulate testosterone further, which might be bad for performance and uh, muscle gain and also probably fat loss. So if you're eating such a bad diet that you start running into these deficiencies, which is probably more common than you realize, then I would say that yes, your food choices do matter. Um, but when it comes down to it, you, you know, we have at this point thousands of examples of guys who've gotten to 
five, 6% body fat with great musculature uh, doing, you know, if it fits your macro style approach. So it certainly has been shown to work in the field. Now, when it comes to matters of health, I think that's a different question. And I'm not going to try to answer that here in the Q and A, uh, but I think that if you're trying to get to five to 6% body fat shredded, uh, then health probably isn't your biggest concern anyway. Uh, but just as a general piece of advice, you want to, you know, eat your fruits and vegetables basically. And uh, that's probably a pretty good start.